All right, eighth grade, welcome here to section three, or section th five of chapter three, sorry. <clears throat> uh, last one before the test. So we're down to uh, your final chance. Make sure we're getting our homework in, doing the review for problems, all kinds of stuff like that, down to the last little bit. All right. Here in section three, it's going to be nice, short, and sweet. We're just talking about writing equations again, talking in terms of parallel and perpendicular lines. I know we've talked about this before in uh, other classes, so let's do a quick refresher of what a parallel and perpendicular line is. A parallel line, oh, let me get the tools wherever, where'd they go? Hang on one second. All right, got it back and working again. Sorry about that. So a parallel line, parallel lines are two lines that never touch, like so. Okay, they can be horizontal, vertical, any direction you want. Perpendicular lines are two lines that intersect and make a right angle. Again, they can intersect in any direction as long as they make a right angle. Okay? So when I'm talking about parallel lines in regards to their slope, parallel lines uh, have the same slope. So the slope of parallel lines are the same. Okay? And the slopes of perpendicular, perpendicular lines are what's called a negative reciprocal. That's C-O-A-L at the end. Reciprocal. Okay? And all that means is you're going to take the number flip it so the bottom goes to the top, the top goes to the bottom, and make it positive to negative or negative to positive. So let's take a look at a couple of slopes here and determine it parallel and perpendicular. Okay? So a parallel slope to two-thirds is two-thirds. It's the same. A perpendicular slope to two-thirds is going to become negative 3 over 2. I change it from positive to negative and I flip it. All right, let's try negative 5. The parallel slope is negative 5. The perpendicular slope is going to be flipped. Remember, this is negative 5 over 1, so it becomes 1 over positive 5. I flip bottom to top and change positive to negative. Okay, zero is a little bit of a special case. Um, if we look at the parallel slope, it stays the same, so it's still zero. The perpendicular slope, on the other hand, remember to make zero a fraction, I'm going to put one underneath it. So when I want to make the perpendicular slope, I flip that to be one over zero. But what happens whenever I have zero on the denominator? If I try to divide by zero, the world explodes and all of its contents get sucked in on top of itself. And it's just weird. It's worse than crossing the streams. So do not divide by zero. We get undefined. An undefined slope is perpendicular. Okay? And if we think about what that would look like, if I have a slope of zero, we already talked about this, we have a horizontal line. Okay? But if I have a slope that's undefined, I have a vertical line. So it should make sense that when I put those two together, they are going to be perpendicular. Okay? You can see right there, they make a perpendicular angle. All right? So the last one I put up here was negative 6 over 5. We have our parallel slope stays the same. Our perpendicular slope becomes 5 over negative 6. Or sorry, stays positive, goes to positive. 5 over 6. All right? So that's making parallel and perpendicular slopes. So what we're going to use that for is writing equations with this. Okay, so I want the equation of the line parallel to this equation and through the point 2, 7. Remember to use point slope form 
which is how we write lines because that gets us into slope intercept form. What we need is a point and a slope. We have the point right here. We need to find our slope. Since we want parallel, we want the same slope. So our slope here is 3, which means the one I'm going to use is 3. There's my slope. There's my point. Let's go ahead and plug it in. y minus 7 equals my slope is 3 times x minus 2. From there, we simplify it by distributing. y minus 7 equals 3x minus 6. Add 7 to both sides to get y equals 3x plus 1. And there's the equation that's parallel to that, but through the point to 7. All right? One more example here. We want to write the equation of the line perpendicular this time. Perpendicular to y equals negative 1 third x plus 3 and through the point 5, negative 2 this time. Okay. Again, we need a point and a slope. There's our point. Our slope is the negative reciprocal, or the neg recip. And since this slope is negative 1 over 3, the one I'm going to use is positive 3. Okay, so let's take my point and my slope and plug them in. y minus negative 2 equals m times x minus 5. Minus a negative becomes plus, so y plus 2. Distribute my 3 to get 3x minus 15. Minus 2 and minus 2 from both sides to get y equals 3x minus 17. Okay, that's it. So over, most of our uh, work here has been on graphing and writing the equations of lines. Okay, those are going to be the two biggest things. You still need to know how to uh, solve for specific variables because remember when you graph in, in, um, in slope-intercept form, you need to be able to solve for y. So that's what this chapter is covering. We're writing equations, we're solving for variables, and we're graphing equations, graphing linear functions. All right? So uh, don't be afraid to ask questions. Slow it down, pause it. I know I go fast, so don't be afraid to rewind me. It won't hurt my feelings. I'm just a voice on the screen here. So I'll see you in class, and have a good day. Bye.